All right, everybody, here's the deal. Tomorrow is going to be a better day than today. It's going to be drier day than today. And it's closer to the weekend. Plus, Gonzaga's playing tomorrow at 1030. Pretty good. So, uh, 8 a.m., 33 degrees. As you come up with your excuses to skip out of work a little early for lunch, 44 degrees, 48 uh, on your return with partly cloudy skies. Doppler radar again this morning. Uh, we did have uh, quite a bit of rain that moved through this afternoon. It's been very nice. We've seen cloud cover. We've seen isolated and very light scattered showers. And that's really going to be the trend for tomorrow. We're going to see some mountain showers and still some showers to the south into the Palouse and into that uh, areas of northeastern Oregon. We're sitting at 43 degrees, 93 percent humidity. We talk about the fog potential tomorrow morning, so it's out there. And just be aware of that as you head out. 42 degrees currently into Coeur d'Alene. Nationally, a couple things to talk about. First of all, midsection, gorgeous. Beautiful. Flood advisories, flood watches for the southeast. The snow continues to fall into New England. Bands of snow, anywhere from one to six inches of snow in some of those bands. Into the higher elevations onto the west, Sierra is getting some snow. This is great news. Some of those mountains are at 10, 20, 30 percent of normal. We're sitting at 100 percent or better when we look at the, the water equivalent or what we need to replace aquifer for streams, rivers, the, the dam. You know, reservoirs. So they need it, they're getting it. We see some heavier amounts into northern Utah and pushing its way up into areas of southern Idaho. So, temperatures highs today, it was cool and cold. It with that humidity and 42 degrees in New York, burr. All right, so into the northwest. We see the system continue to push eastward. So you can see there it is, Utah, Idaho. Pushing into Wyoming. So the Tetons are going to be getting some snow tonight. The forecast, as we take a look at this, it continues to clear out overnight. We're going to have some clouds bumping around Spokane. Should be pretty nice along the northern areas and onto the east slopes of the Cascades. But look at the Palouse, Lewiston. Again, early morning showers there, so just be aware of that. And then a few scattering into our area. So 48 for Thursday, Friday 50. Temperatures in the upper 40 Saturday and Sunday. We are going to see a chance of some scattered showers. Of course, uh, the pot of gold on Saturday. That is, of course, St. Patrick's Day Parade. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, temperatures in the low 50s. Today is Albert Einstein's birthday. Oh, yes. It is National Pie Day 3.14. Not that kind of pie. One, five, Nine. It could be either. <laughs> no, Plus, <laughs> people were uh, thinking this morning pizza pie. Oh, I like that. Any See? kind of pie. Any kind of pie. Pizza pie, regular pie, 3.14159 if you're doing some calculations. Pie Just day saying. all around. I asked for the and favorite food kind of wise. pie or your favorite math equation. Everyone answered food. No one answered the math equation this morning. It's because nobody knows how to do math, especially right. people in communications. Right? Okay. <laughs>